टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी इंट्रीकिंग क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल हु फंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कैरिंग आउट अ सर्वे ऑफ हेल्थ कंसर्न अराउंड द वर्ल्ड थियोरेटिकली स्पीकिंग वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज मेजरली फंडेड बाई टू सोर्सेस नंबर वन असेस्ड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन पेड बाय द मेंबर स्टेट्स एंड नंबर टू voluntary contributions made by member states and other partners currently there are 194 member states funding the world health organization now what exactly are these assessed and voluntary contributions that we are talking about according to who's official website assessed contributions are a percentage of a country's gdp and this percentage is agreed upon by the un general assembly These contributions are approved by the member states every 2 years at the World Health Assembly. They cover about 20% of the total budget. The rest of the financing is in the form of voluntary contributions largely from member states as well as from other UN organizations, intergovernmental organizations, philanthropic foundations, the private sector and other sources. The top 3 contributors to the WHO's funding are the United States of America, the united kingdom and bill and melinda gates foundation respectively usa the biggest contributor to the who's funding has now refused to contribute and thereby has stopped all the funds coming from the states but why the sudden halt in funding that too when we are in the middle of a pandemic well while on the surface it may look like the us has been struck with the virus and therefore the halt in the funding but there's a political angle to it as well and a rather controversial one the current head of the WHO Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus is the first african to hold this position it is rumored that he got this position only because of china on jan 28th tedros praised the efforts put by the chinese president xi jinping to fight the corona virus this not only strengthened the rumor but also faced criticism from many countries including usa The US president blames the WHO for the current state of pandemic that we are in. He alleged that if WHO had pressurized China to share information about the coronavirus, then 1.25 lakh people would not have died. Mr Trump said that the WHO has failed to fulfill its objectives and the US is not benefiting by its functioning, then why should they give financial assistance of 400 million dollars USD to 500 million dollars USD every year? This move has been criticized by the WHO head and he said that this is not the time to cut finances. It is clear that America played a major role in WHO's total funding. and if the required funds are not received then it definitely weakens our position in this war against the corona virus even though china and bill gates have come to aid the who but will they be able to cover the dent that the us has put in the who's pocket well that i guess only time will tell till then don't forget to like share and subscribe to explified stay tuned for some more content coming your way